off to carry here. Oh man, there was a bunch of hot chicks and they kept all looking at me like they were interested and I'm a one woman man. That's right, so, that's right, thank you. Thank you, honey. Now, recently my friend Travis and I went on a 26 hour round trip to Canada to pick up one of the most massive toy collections um, that you ever will see. And I'm gonna do a separate video about that toy haul later and you're gonna love it. I'm a little emotional right now. I know Travis um, has been crying for the last half hour, but it's like an old friend who has died, but their zombie self was reborn and we get to hang out and visit the good times. And you're like, what are you talking about, Justice? You're crazy. But look at what we got here. <gasps> Toys are, how you feeling right now, Travis? I'm pretty excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am too. This is this is really exciting. Obviously, Toys R Us um, in 2018 closed across the U.S., but a limited amount of stores are available in Canada, and we're in Canada, so let's freaking go have some fun. We're gonna live it up. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> And I made a Toys R Us video when Toys R Us was closing. I brought my family um, and posted on YouTube. So this will be the last time I go on Toys R Us, but little did I know, I would get to have one more. All right, let's go in, figure out what's going on. I'm sure they're gonna be super weirded out because it'll be the first time someone came in to videotape. But lucky I don't care what other people think. Travis is texting, showing everyone all of our toy friends. Oh, let's take it all in. The smells. So we're visiting the gravesite of an old friend and he's still there, he's still alive. Let's walk around. All right, just walking down some of the cool things. I'm sure I'll watch this 10 years from now and this figure will be worth, you know, $300. Um, I know you're probably going, what, $29? But that's 29 Canadian, which I'm assuming would be 20 US. It's the, the newest Marvel Legends wave, because Captain Marvel just came out. Um, Ant-Man with the funny smirk. Well, yeah, it's, it's fun coming back in here and Reliving the uh, the old experiences of Toys R Us. Travis is probably going to end up dropping like eight million dollars. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, did you, did you wash your hands? I did. Okay, good. Finally. Vigorously. I've had to tell him many times. Fifty? Why is? Oh, it's a statue. No, it's a figure. Why is it saying? Fifty-four dollars. Mm -hmm, because this is when they. Oh, oh, Emma Frost. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Isn't this one worth some money? I thought he was an expensive figure. He's no. Decent. Yeah, he's decent. Yeah. And remember, this is twenty U.S. So it's still the same. So that's. That would be uh, like thirty bucks, something like that. Maybe thirty-five. I don't know. Security over by the Star Wars and Marvel. We have some weird guys videotaping things. Oh, wow. Fortnite. I haven't played it. People are talking about it. These new kids in their Fortnite. No clue what it's about. I'm sure when my kids get a little older, they'll start playing these, these games and I'll be the old parent. What are you talking about with the newfangled things? Some masterpiece transformers. It's also fun kind of seeing some of these because obviously at some point one of these things is going to become rare or desirable or collectors might, you know, five years from now want a certain figure for whatever reason and it turns into a hundred, two hundred or more figure and, you know, you'll see the original price. 
or even Lego sets, man. There's been several articles published that Legos is a better investment than gold. And once some of these certain sets become uh, non-existent or unavailable, they can uh, definitely double, triple in price. Star Wars is king. Star Wars will always be king as long as I'm alive. Whether you like or hate the new movies, I don't care. Oh, that's kind of neat. I haven't seen the Dagobah set. Huh. Ninjago! Some Minecraft things. Junior's Architect. Yeah. Like I said, fun trip down memory lane. Just wanted to share this with you real quick. See you in a minute. Just to carry here. Can I bring it home, Travis? Yeah, My for sure. My face is a little too big for it to actually work, though. I mean, if I hold it like this, it look freaky. It does look freaky. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in the Toronto, eh? In some horrible uh, rush hour because it's noon. Well, the Canadian people might get out of work at noon. I don't know their work schedule. They're pretty easygoing folks. Instead of 9 to 5, they work 8 to noon. So we're developing a an accent, eh? I don't know if that's culturally um, insensitive to mock another culture's accents. Probably that's why Travis is staying quiet. Plus, he needs to keep us safe because of the stop and go traffic. I've talked to one person in Canada so far, so <laughs> he's talked. We stopped at Toys R Us. I didn't talk to anybody there. You didn't talk to anybody there? Nope. Oh man, there was a bunch of hot chicks, and they kept all looking at me like they're interested. And I'm a one woman man that's right so. that's right thank you thank you honey um <laughs> but yeah we still have uh, a ways to go another seven hours and 15 minutes um toronto is a beautiful bustling city full of wonderful people i think it's the biggest city in the uh the whole land of Canada I'm not sure but yeah just, just going along we pretty much ran out of things to talk about we've shared deep dark secrets um, pondered life business money finances love one thing that you would change in life you asked me that question if you could go back what's one thing that you change it's like oh my gosh you know but I like and it's the butterfly effect. So if you change one thing, then we wouldn't be sitting in this car. So I don't know if you'd change anything because I, I kind of like where I'm at now. You like where you're at, Travis? Yeah, except for I really got to go pee. <laughs> no. So I'm going to find a bottle in the back um, so he can put his little wee-wee in there and, uh, and pee. So we'll talk to you in a little bit, guys. Bye.